Well, hello everyone, you're here with another LEGO Harry Potter review, and today it is on the Night Bus, of course. So, on the front of the box, you can see that same border that we've seen for a little while, and LEGO logo, Harry Potter logo, Disney World logo, of course, and picture of the set in action, or riding on by, and uh, for all the mini things included, and Recommended age is 8 and up, set number 75957, and has 403 pieces. And on the back seat in a parked position, and the features of it. And then on the front of the booklet, see the same picture as on the front of the box and everything. On the back is how to win on the online survey. After all the pieces that come with the set. And after the Hogwarts Corridor sets and how they combine together, after some of the other sets, and after Lego Life and the last steps. This first of which is Harry Potter himself. Of which Torso print and everything, same as for the Expector Patronum set, of course. But it's still nice to have. So, although that may be a little bit alternative to get in there, but otherwise, still good to ha have be included in this set, of course. And next to which is Stan Shunk Pike. I would which has some good better prints than in the older versions and the half piece or which also done quite goodly and quite like the torso and face print of which well suiting to him although what they sh could have done is make it a new hair hat combo piece with his uh, shaggy red hair or which suiting to him and no double side face and his back torso print of course And lastly is the driver Ernie Prang, which is a little better than the 2011 version, but seen with a new bald cap piece like in the CMF series. And it's in his back torso print, also done goodly, and his front torso print, also done good. But quite like the face print, of which well suiting for him. And, oops, actually, no double side face on this one. And that is about it with him, with that. And now onto the night bus itself. See, it's a lot of dark purple of it, just like the other version. So it, oh, which, so it kind of works as a good parts pack of for some dark purple, of course. As, as for the front part of it, some good shaping and. Also, some good snot there, with like a bunch of slopes acting for that, and also tile for a grill, and of course, stickers saying night bus, of course. And oh, which good symmetry to it, and also does have the little platform for it, and also a single stud to stand to your stand stunt bike figure on, and and of course, on both these corners, of which is saying, all destinations, nothing underwater, of course. And back of which, I have the rigid brick there, and tail lights, of course. Unlike with these ones in the front, of course. But, uh, but also, it's kind of modular, of which, like the other two versions, it's a little stackable. And, this top layer of which oh, has good effect of the like uh, bracket pieces making it bend up a bit and also good use of the like jagged slopes there and also cur curved slopes above and roof top also up. so removable but it's kind of just resting off there and looking inside you see there's a little uh, treasure chest piece with a couple of little things like a letter and chocolate bar and all and a couple of little jumpers to 
mounted on. And also a nice printed tile representing the Daily Prophet. And looking from the top part of it, see it rests on four studs there, and also one of them kind of corner pieces, good use. And the whole thing you can swing open just like the recent uh, Hogwarts Express set. You see, I have an elevated seat, which as suiting to most of it, and also you get this little chandelier made of few pieces like be like trans yellow cones and a few clear studs in the uh, bed part of which which does have some those things underneath it like the previous versions and you can lift this part up and fit a figure in it like in some other set recent sets but also what's a good step from the other versions is that you can swing this chair around and and have and sit your early brain figure in it. Uh, also I'm not sure if the camera fixed this up, but also right there is an all new piece of the shrunken head. Uh, and hey but also as a me figure head, not as a cylinder. And the hey, print of which done quite good to it. And, uh, and can drive around these rooms, of course. Although, what would have been nice if there were some like uh, gray uh, tiles coming right off representing the like mists of it suiting to the scene. And so now. On to the final vert. So my overall vert is this I think one probably the best bestest version of the night bus they have done. Like bearable form of the shrunken head and also good accessibility to it compared to like stacking the the layers on top of each other of course. Also Stan Shumpike could have had some improvements to it. Which, if they do another version of it, then I expect him to have a little better. Or even let him be in a ZMAP series, of course. But aside from that, also some good works of it. It does work well as a good interpretation of it. And, yeah. and if you're looking to get this set for your uh, Prisoner of Azkaban collection, then go ahead and pick it up. Also, if you're wanting to add a night bus to your uh, collection in general, then also go ahead and pick it up. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.